steering guard, the wheel carrier, the corner protectors, and all future products from ORE will have their signature coating on it. What makes it so special? Well, that's a secret. But today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about what makes them so good, why it lasts so long, and how that helps in the real world. So let's take a look. So recently I made a wheel carrier update video six months down the line, well, actually nine months. Thankfully, it's lasting absolutely brilliantly and I'm very happy with it. I touched on the coating in that film, but today I'm gonna to go into a little bit more detail on why it's so strong. If you wanna see that film, click the link in the description below and then you can see that there. I'm no engineer, but Chris at ORE is, and he takes the detail and design and product quality to a very fine key. So I wanna show you how it's such good quality, so long lasting, and also some of the testing it has to go through, and also compare it to some of the other coatings I've got, even on this truck, and show you what's happened to them in under two years already. What I know of the coating is it's been specifically designed in line with oil rigs and industrial locations. It's built to resist the worst weather, extreme conditions, and also very vigorous use. So it can withstand scratches, impacts, and many other things, and also last. So before we look at the actual details of the coating, I wanted to show you around the car. Uh, this is my very good roof rack. It's very sturdy, works well, looks really good, get lots of people asking about it. And every time I tell them, yes, it's built well, looks great, but doesn't look great when this happens. The paint peels off, it rusts and then falls apart. You can see here, I've actually painted this with hammerite paint in the past, but here's where it's been left untreated. And look at that. This is a year and a half old. You can see the primers coming through there and then underneath the primer, you've got rust. This happens all the way along. You can even, like literally when you, go up you can pick it off with your hands it's really really terrible it's a shame because it's a good roof rack it costs quite a lot of money but now look it really brings the quality down with the looks and also you just don't have a quality product there bent there unfortunately and everywhere you look around the whole vehicle unfortunately there's rust everywhere so looking here you've got a tree slider this is another brand. I won't mention any of the other brands, obviously, out of respect. But you can see here, this is one mark from a, I think it's a wooden fence. Just very, very shallow sort of hit. Straight away, one sort of scrape. You're down to the metal and you're rusting straight away. It's not very good. So all rust at first, obviously, is cosmetic. It doesn't look great. You want to sand it down, treat it, prime it and paint it again, make it look nice. That's number one. You want your truck to look cool and not rusty, obviously. Next though, obviously if you leave it too long, it can start to develop actual weakness in the metal. Depending on how thin it actually is, you can actually get structural issues. Also, it can start to creep underneath the paint and then start peeling. As you saw on the roof rack, it's absolutely bubbling everywhere, unfortunately. And as it starts to spread, again, starts to get more and more structurally unsound and then ruts through and uh, things fall apart. You have to buy new ones again and again and again. It's just not fun whatsoever. So the ORE coating actually goes through many, many different levels of testing, scratch testing, impact testing, and then also a scratch and salt test, which is actually blasted with salt water, like a bath of salt for weeks, even months and months and months on end to see what happens to that coating through that time being abused with all that salt water. So here you have a sheet piece of steel that is the exact same coating that comes on the ORE products. Uh, this one's obviously white and the ORE products, unless you want them in white, are black. <laughs> uh, this one's been scratched along these marks here, as you can see. And what this is to demonstrate is that, yes, where the scratch has been scored in, obviously must have been quite something hard to scratch that in. But as you can see, after hours and hours, weeks and weeks, a long time of salt treatment, you can see that the even though it's rusted on that metal, it hasn't creeped underneath and it hasn't started to peel at all. So that's amazing. There's no creeping there. When you get a scratch, a bit of rust there, but it doesn't bubble under the paint, start to peel off and come away. And that's down to the adhesion. And it means it sticks down and doesn't you know, spread and get worse and worse. So that's really cool. Here is another example. This has been scored with almost like a six prong little scraper here. What that does is to show these little squares here gets put through another similar sort of testing and it shows that it's not actually come away at all. The adhesion of the coating to the metal is so good. You would expect normal paint like you saw in the other pieces to flake away here. All these squares would come off, but you can see it's almost like stuck with glue. It's like welded on almost. So any sort of scratches that do occur, they sort of start to self heal and also don't get any worse. There's no creeping underneath and it lasts for a long time. 
So right here, I have another piece. This is a thin piece of steel that's uh, actually bent. This is used to test out the impact resistance and the flexibility. So when the metal bends, if it ever was to bend, the paint doesn't peel away at all. It's flexible enough and it sticks down enough that when it does have an impact, you can see it doesn't get scratched at all. So if you hit it really hard, actually, yeah, here's a bit better. So if you chuck it down there, you can see it's been hit a few times. So these are some marks from before, but you can see where I've just hit it there and here. Look at this. This is all where I've hit it here and here. This is looking amazing. Look at that. You can see a couple of like tiny scratches from where the hammer's hit it, but that's uh, some proper flex there and it's not come away at all. That's really impressive. So what does this mean in the real world? I've been babbling on about the coating, but what it means is that you've got a product that is designed and built and now coated to last as long as you need it to, which on these trucks is a long time. I put mine through quite a lot of abuse, you know, off-roading, different types of road, different types of weather, and it's lasted as long as I've had it and it will last for years to come. I hope you've enjoyed looking into what makes the ORE coating special and I hope I'll see you next time.